Hi guys, today is uh, the second video of my new series Cute Animals and Their Little Friends and I've thought about to make a cows because I have a friend who really really loves cows in fact she collects them and she has in all sorts and shapes uh, her name is Renata and uh, I really hope she likes this video too but if you want me to make another animal just let me know in the comment and it might be the next one that I'm going to make just for you all right so let's have a look how, how to make it now let's start first of all making the cow's legs and what we're going to need are four balls of white modeling paste and they're all exactly the same weight to start making your leg you need to shape a drop shape and then you're going to flat the bigger part of it As you can see, I've already rolled some black fondant and uh, I'm going to make a few thin stripes that I'm going to put around the bottom of each leg. Cut any extra fondant and then rub a little bit with the leaf shaper so that the line that we just created is going to disappear. Then we're going to insert a cocktail stick inside each leg. To make the body, first of all, we're going to make a big oval and at one part of it, we're going to roll it to make the neck. And then bend a little bit the top of the neck. Now that we've done our legs and we've done our body, we're going to put everything onto a dummy so it's going to be much easier for us to keep working on it. So we're going to put our legs first but keeping in mind the size of the body that we're going to put on top of it. Squash the two legs together and then insert the body and press in a little bit from the top to make the cute little cow head we're going to start from a ball of white fondant press it to get a little bit smaller the ball at the top and a little bit bigger at the bottom then with your pinky just draw a line just in the middle of the head with some flesh fondant we're going to make the mouth and uh, the shape that we want to have uh, is an oval then we can put it at the front bottom of the head and we want to press it just to make sure that it does stick to the head now we want to draw a curved line to make the mouth cut a little bit deeper and open the mouth a little bit more and open the bottom lip a little bit more so that we can put our thong afterwards on each side of the lip we're going to add two dots to make the cow look cuter and happier shape the bottom lip a little bit more little bit more curved and then add inside an oval of pink fondant which is actually the tongue and then draw a line in the middle of it using the silicone brush the pointed one we're going to add two holes for making the nose and we want to open it up a little bit more especially at the top of it to make the eyes we're going to start first of all making two holes using the ball tool and um, making two ovals and they're going to be just above the nostrils now first of all we want to fill these holes with some white 
fondant. And we want to press it with the leaf shaper every time we're going to add uh, the irises or the pupils. So then we're going to add two blue balls for the irises and we're going to flatten again as I said before. And then two black balls of uh, fondant for making the pupils at this point we're going to paint all around the eyes as the cow is white and the eyes are white as well so we want to make sure that the eyes are showing a little bit more and we're going to paint it with some black gel paste a nice touch is to paint the outside of the irises as well, which is going to make it look much, much nicer. And then we're going to paint the eyelashes as well, three for each eye. And still using the same black gel paste, we want to paint the eyebrows as well. Finally, using a cleaned brush again which is really really thin we want to add a few dots on the eyes a bigger one at the top and a really really tiny one at the bottom and then we're gonna add a really small line inside the iris it's a really small touch, however, I think it does make the eye look much, much nicer and cuter at the same time. I was still not very happy with the nostrils, so I've decided to make them wider and I push them a little bit up. To make the ears, uh, we're going to use a bowl, a weather bowl of uh, white fondant and a smaller one that we're going to put on the inside. They're both going to have a drop shape and we're going to put one on top of each other and then we're going to pinch one side of it. This is the part that we're going to put inside the head but to do so first we need to make a hole inside the head and then we can put the ear inside of it. To make the horns, uh, we simply need to make two drops of brown fondant. And then we're gonna put it at the top of the head. Next, each ear. And we want them to curve a little bit towards the center. I always love to add some details and this time I've decided to add a bow, a purple bow using a strip of fondant. Then I twist each bow towards the center and I cut it a kind of a triangle out from the bottom. And the same from the top. Draw two lines on each part of the bow. I've added a small string in the middle. And then I've put this little cube bow on the cow head on the left. Now that the cute little head is ready, we're going to add a little bit of shadow using some uh, edible dust painting. And as usual, I think I always put a little bit too much on one cheek and it's always fine on the other one. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but uh, then I rub it always up with some uh, um, kitchen paper and after that it's fine then i'm gonna put some extra color inside the nostrils 
And now that the body is hard and the head as well, I'm going to insert a cocktail stick inside the body. If it's too long, make sure you cut it. You don't want the, the cocktail stick uh, breaks the body or the cow head. And then you can add the little cow head. Mine still has uh, a long neck, so, so I've decided to cut more fondant from the neck and now it looks much, much better. To make the tail, I've added a string and at the end I've cut it small pieces of it. The cow is nearly done, but it wouldn't be a cow if we didn't add all the black patches all over the body, right? So what we're going to do is to add uh, a few small pieces of black mandolin paste and then we're going to squash them a little bit with a leaf shaper or, or you can even use your finger if you want to and try to give uh, an irregular shape. So you want to put all these patches on the body, the legs, the tail, the face, the head and even on the ears as well to make the cow even cuter. Around the neck we're going to add a string of purple modeling paste which is the same that I've used to make the bow. To make the bell it's really easy, what we need is a yellow modeling paste, um, a small ball of yellow modeling paste and inside we're going to curve it using a ball tool. And on the inside I'm going to add a small ball to make the clapper on the inside. And then we're gonna gently attach it onto the cow's neck. So now we can paint it as it is ready and uh, we just need to use some edible gold painting. At the bottom of the body I'm going to add some flesh fondant to make you know what I'm talking about, right? And on this bowl I'm going to attach three little pieces. And then I'm going to put it underneath the body, the cow's body. Now let's move on to make our little rooster, which is our cow friend in this video. And plus it's really nice as it is really colourful. And we're going to start making first of all the legs. First of all we're going to insert a ball of orange modeling paste into our cocktail stick and you need to try to make it as thin as possible. Then at the top of the leg we're going to add some black modeling paste which are actually the feathers of the rooster and then we're gonna put it on top of the leg. Cut it if it is too long like mine. To make the feet instead we're going to start from a ball which we're going to press and from it we're going to take out two triangles because we want to make three fingers and then we're going to draw some lines on top of each finger and then we want to add some lines onto the leg as well. To make the rooster body we're going to use some black modeling paste and we want to make first of all a drop then we need to curve the smallest part of this drop which is going to be the neck and then the head and then you have to twist it the other way around to make the head and finally we need to roll the other part of the uh, rooster body because um, this is where the tail is going to be. Now we're going to put everything together and we're going to start putting the feet first on our dummy next to the cow. Then we're going to insert the rooster legs, cut the cocktail sticks if they're too long like mine 
which I've already done. And finally, we can insert the body. To make the rooster really colorful, we're going to make lots of feathers, all of different colors. And as you can see, I'm starting with the green. To do the feathers, I'm first of all making a sausage. I'm cutting them, then I press them, and then I draw some lines on it. And then I'm going to start from the tail, adding all the green feathers. Then leaving a little bit of the green feathers, I added the purple feathers. Then I've added the blue ones, the oranges, the light oranges, and I've added some fondant onto the face then a little piece of this orange uh, modeling paste and just uh, an oval on the right of the face as well then at the top of the head i've added a long and thin piece of uh, red modeling paste which i've cut it To make the eye, I've made a hole with the smallest ball tool that I have and then inserted a white ball on the inside and then a black one for the pupil. Instead, to make the beak, I've added a small triangle on the head with some orange modeling paste. Then I've decided to add some red feathers to make the wings and some yellow and blue long feathers to make a really nice and colorful tail as well. I really hope that you find this video useful and really interesting and that you liked it and if so don't forget to thumbs up also if you want to make any suggestions or any comment just let me know I'm really happy to hear what you think about my videos what you think about me and if I can improve in any way really and um, that's all for today while you're waiting for my next video you might want to have a look at these two videos as well and uh, as usual guys don't forget to be creative and have fun see you next time bye bye